Good morning, y'all. Happy m Tuesday. <laughs> I saved it. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, let's see. It's been a bit. Give me one second. My glasses are filthy. But yeah, Friday I was feeling awful. All this weekend I was feeling awful. And then we slept a bunch and then stayed up all night because I slept all day. And then also the cat needed us to be awake all night. <laughs> and then, yeah, yesterday I felt awful. And then last night I had a really bad headache. But it's mostly gone now, so that's nice. I did sleep, like, really hard, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, Brood did not. Because, uh, the cat was on her nightly watch of the backyard, and there was another cat that came in our yard, and then she was wound up for a while. So, yeah. That's, uh... That's everything that's been going on with us. Alright, so, if y'all are unfamiliar with this game, this is the Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. This is an FMV game. I really enjoy this game. There are going to be points where it's going to be incredibly frustrating, because the way that this game works is, um, you're interviewing people. And you have to ask them specific questions to get more information, and, uh, basically we're trying to, uh, solve our murder here. And you have to ask very particular things at certain points, and it may not always be obvious. In fact, some, <laughs> some of the things were just, I don't know, seemed really random to me. So, I have played through this before, it was about ten years ago. Um good friend of mine uh, recommended that we play it and then uh, he came over and gone. We had a couple sessions. I think we played it for like well my total playtime on here is like 22 hours so we played it for a long time <laughs> until our brains melted. And you may be saying but Cloro you've already played this. You already know who did it. No. The killer changes. So if we do get the same one, it'll be a coincidence. But, uh, uh, the odds of that are fairly low because there are, uh, many, many suspects here. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me know how the audio is. I've had to turn it down, like, quite a bit because this game is hella loud. But, uh, yeah, new game. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've, uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Literally, somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. It starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. They arrested me. Which means that, at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing! You're insane, Doctor. Listen! 
listen to me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. <laughs> Someone's name is Death. I know, I saw that. <laughs> Sir, you're late. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises. You're late. Doctor. Hi, Jaya. And you're after late. all those and after all those promises, never mind. Jaya is waifu, by the way. Can't just blame the British child. Doctor, you're late. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh, sorry. I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. All right, there's the couch. We're going to be looking at that couch a lot. Patient names have dots next to them. Red is to keep talking to them. Amber is you're done. Green is that you've asked everything. Going green is optional. Watch replays in the responses tab. Look for stars. Important conversations have two orange stars. Optional conversations have one green star. Stars update automatically. I don't remember seeing this at the beginning. Try using your patient's words, yes. Okay, so we take the highlighted words and then ask questions using the highlighted words. Sometimes it doesn't work how you expect it to. Include a yes or no when answering patients. Use contacts. Say yes, I like cats, not yes. Going green is intentionally hard. Hints will be required. Set hint cooldown in options. We had to set that very low. Here's Mariana, by the way. She is also waifu. God, I hate Bryce. I don't want to talk to Bryce. Ugh. All right, so. Here we are. While we are uh, trying to figure out what exactly we're doing, whatever per uh, person is highlighted will just be, uh, you know, kind of hanging around the couch. I think I also hated Nathan. Or maybe Nathan was just the guy I felt bad about. Anyway. Let's start with Bryce. He's at the top of the list. Because it is alphabetical. Ariana does have the, uh... The uh, Cthulhu necklace, though. And that's pretty rad. Anyway, here's Bryce. God, I hate Bryce. Your notes. Okay, so yeah, this is just uh, explaining the thing it already told us. It's our patient list. Which one was Claire? All right, I remember you. <laughs> got Claire, we've got Elin. Elin was the red dress lady, right? No. No, I remember her. Okay. And who was Nathan? That's right. Alright, we'll start with Bryce. What is your name, Bryce? I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? No, I did not know Dr. Decker. 
he was an antagonistic psycho. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. How was Decker antagonistic psycho? I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. I mean, that sounds like a, uh, a problem, but okay. What are your problems? I'm gonna have to type and read it out loud like that every time. Put your camera down, Bryce. I am the one with the camera. Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. <laughs> What's your problem? What failure? Apparently, I've gone a little mad. For me, I have 25 hour days. Oh, right. Uh, how do you have 25 hour days? I forgot that was his deal. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Okay. What do you do during midnight hour? I'm not sure what you're asking me. Can, can you be more specific? Bryce, honey. What do you do during your extra hour? I'm a grave digger, Doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Didn't... What? So you're a grave digger. Haven't we talked about that already? Yeah, and that's flashing under what did you do during your extra hour. Okay. Um... How is your deep... Depression. Because what are your problems still has two stars. You'd think being a gravedigger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Zombies. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent gravediggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Okay, yep, that's the replay. Um What are the perks of being a grave digger? That's not at all related to that. What? <laughs> okay, there's going to be a lot of in this game. Why are you less depressed? Okay. Tell me about your extra hour. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Why didn't you give Sometimes me that? Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. See, I feel like that would have been under tell me about, or like what do you do during your extra hour. Okay. Why do you like chess? I mean, he already told I like us, chess. but. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. 
I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. Achievement unlocked! Okay. So we have a green star on the chest. What about the Queen? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. Let's protect the but queen. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. Okay. What about the arc? Oh my god, how do you spell archaeological site? <laughs> That's meaningless to me. Bryce. Did I spell it wrong? I have no knowledge of that. You liar! Okay. What about your camera? I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. Okay. Hmm. What was the church? It was like Henley Church or something. Okay, so the other things, we still need to work on how is your depression, how do you have 25 hour days, and how is Decker an antagonistic psycho. Let's rewatch this uh, 25 hour day thing, see what we can pull. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Okay, let's stop zooming in on his teeth. I'm sorry, they're terrible. Um, Why does time freeze at midnight? In the hour, people are pliable. They don't move, but I can move them. As soon as my hour is up, they start moving again, as if nothing has changed at all. Why do you move people during midnight hour? Slow down, Doctor. You don't have to ask me all the questions at once. I hate you, Bryce. <laughs> Asked, like, why time? For yeah, okay. Um, why don't you like Doctor? Decker. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. In game? Okay. 
that's all we're getting out of that. So we still have the, how do you have 25 hour days and how is your depression? Why are you less depressed now? Haven't we talked about that? We have many times, but apparently you have more to say, Bryce. You'd think being a gravedigger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent gravediggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. Shovel is uh, in italics here. I'm not as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra, extra hour. hour. Alright, so what can we ask him about his shovel? Do you use a shovel at work? I would hope that he would Henry say yes. The church where I work is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Okay. What kind of relics are at Henley Church? Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. Ah, oh, it's they cursed! They it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Xena was displeased. Um. Uh... What should we follow up with there? Something about him running out of space at the church, but... What kind of Scientology relics would there be? Tom Cruise's sunglasses. Travolta's hair gel. Hmm. Just ask what relics? Okay. We'll see if that gives us something different. Okay, so I guess that just leads back to the queen. What kind of relics? Uh, Scientology relics. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, but not anymore. Okay, that took uh, Scientology. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Why not believe in God anymore? I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day. Not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift, but sometimes it's a curse. Okay, Bryce. Why is extra hour a curse? I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. Why is extra hour a gift? Okay, apparently we've already talked about that. Um... So what, we still have things to pursue in the how do you have 25 hour days or Scientology relics. <laughs> A 
I'm running running out of celebrities to make jokes about uh Scientology relics. I know there's a bunch of them. And all the other people I can remember are people who left. <laughs> um Who gave you 20 uh, extra hour? Okay. Let's watch this again then, I guess, to get At notes. midnight each day. Time, Time is you freezes. Know, freezes, okay. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own Midnight Hour. Okay, so Do As I Please and Midnight Hour are both in italics. Do as you please. Tell me about your extra hour. Okay, yeah. Do I just need to ask, like, what is the Midnight Hour? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour. That might be day. it. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? I don't think you're insane. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. Fine, you're insane. What do you want, Bryce? <laughs> All right. So we are good everywhere else except Scientology relics. What else can we get from that? I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, but not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Yes, I think there are too many religions. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable. And the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. All right, Bryce is an amber now, so we're done with him unless we want to get bonus stuff. Frankly, I'd like to get away from Bryce for a bit, so let's go to Claire. Claire is fun. She's a character. Eh. Can't find cursor. Who are you? My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Criminally insane. Needs to be locked up. All right, next. Why are you here, Claire? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? How about you back up out of my personal space, Claire? So, where do we begin? People sound like they're nuttier than fruitcakes. Oh, yeah. 
This is a uh, special bunch we've got here. What tendencies toward violence? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. Who provoked you? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. Who is David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Rad. So hopefully everyone's well and not like these people. <laughs> I'm feeling much better than I have been in the past several days, so uh, I'm good. Hope you're doing well as well. Mm. Uh, why was David having an affair? Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> It's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. I went on vacation Saturday to yesterday. Nice! Hope you had fun. What did you do? David doesn't work, no. He's not very communicative anymore, so a job is out of the question. He used to be an optician. Now he just spends all his time at the lake house, frittering his time away. Frittering, huh? I do like fritters. What about the lake house? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Why is David staying at Lake House? Okay. I do still have something to ask about that, but uh Why are you at the main house? by yourself. Okay, that's still under Lake House. Why doesn't David work anymore? What? Okay, happened to David. That still qualifies under who is David. And all we got was that husband and cheated, and now he's staying at the lake house. Um, let's see, what else did you say besides, uh, let's see. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional, delusional psychotic, psychotic with obsessive, with obsessive tendencies. tendencies. Okay. Oh, and a history of violence. Okay. What are your delusional tendencies? Delusions. As in, seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. Uh-huh. What did you see? Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. Ah! I know that's too vague. Um... What... Obsessive tendencies... I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Why obsessed with husband? Okay. Our 
are you obsessed with David? Okay, that's still all the- hmm. Um... What violence did you do? Let's do, did you hurt David? I... stabbed him with a steak knife. Yes. Shocking, isn't it? No. <laughs> Why did you stab David? Okay, that falls under who is David, sure. Um... Okay, what... I'm obsessed with my husband. Mm-hmm. It's absurd, really. Oh, I need to ask, why is it absurd? Why is it... absurd? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Why shouldn't David be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. How did he almost die? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. Hi, Fabsy. What problems did you and David have? I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Why didn't you divorce him? Divorce is such an imperfect means of separating two people, don't you think? I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. What weakness? I don't have an answer to that. Okay, that was too vague. Um... I asked if she heard David. And then we had, how did he almost die? Did you kill David? That sounds like a question I shouldn't answer without a lawyer present. Fair. Okay, how can we get more out of this? He's not a well man. Okay, he's not well. I was David not well. His health, if we can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Why, David, health deteriorating? Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active, too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time, now more of an enigmatic husk. Uh huh. Why, David, husk? David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. Can I see David? Okay. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um. No, I already asked. Hmm. What happened to David? We've already asked that. Uh, let's switch gears here. What happened to Iris? Okay. Why did you stab David? I've already talked about that. Okay, so we've still got stars by why David health deteriorating and why was David not well? 
Also, who are you? Let's see if we can get My anything from that. Hasselford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect it to be small a small fortune. Up. How much are you paying for these sessions? I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Small fortune. Being rich has its perks, but honestly, we go. <laughs> I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. What madness? I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. Get to the madness. <laughs> Hmm. Y'all feel free to hop in if you've got any questions, uh, for me to try. We still need to ask her about Dr. Decker as well. But we're still trying to get a feel for, uh, you know, who she is and, uh, let's see, are you wealthy? I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Watch, why is David not well again? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Uh, caring for David. David has trouble looking after himself. There we go. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but... I can't hire anybody to care for him. Why not hire someone to care for David? Why not? Okay, uh, why David health bad? Okay, we already talked about that. So I could have some more eloquent questions here, but uh, the way this game works is, uh, well, you know how all these games work. It looks for specific keywords and all that. So, uh, frankly, it's more fun to just ask questions like that. Let's watch Since this again. Uh, altercation. altercation. Okay. What? Altercation. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Why were you angry at David? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Ah, so she's the Hulk. Okay, got it. Why bad lose control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Time not up. Pay more. Sorry. I don't know. Do it! Looks like we've got all of her stuff. Unless we want to go green, but I, I don't care enough. Honestly. Okay, tell me about Dr. Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Why? Wrong. Get out of my personal space about Decker. Okay, yep, that's all we're gonna get out of her. So we are now Amber on Bryce and Claire. Let's talk to Elin. Who are you? She's fun. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. 
God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. What dating shows? Shower. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Do you like nursing? I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. All right, what nursing home? The usual things, making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain. And I talk to them, I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. How do you comfort them? Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. I think she's the coolest character, honestly. Like, she's one of my favorites. Oh, let's see. you feel about death i'd really like to be able to answer you we okay um i'm elin i'm 25 nurse, and i'm a nurse dating yep I feel like we already got how long have you been a nurse okay we still have dots on uh who are you? The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable. Not any pain. Okay. What nursing home? Um. God. I don't know what to ask her. Patience. I haven't really got anything to say. Heck. Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. <laughs> Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. All right, what are your problems? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. Oh yeah, we can ask about school. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Uh... Why work stressful? Let me type it right. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. How many patients have you lost? Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. What's wrong with Hilda? She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me though. Why doesn't she bother you? Okay. Um... What's wrong with Hilda? Did I already... No, I did already ask that. <laughs> How long does Hilda have left? Okay. Um... When did you go to... Nursing school? Okay. 
Said no on that. Um. Why did Decker have time for you? Uh, I'd been seeing him for about nine months, I think. Sure. What think about Decker? Okay. Is that noise? Eh. Hmm. Okay, so we still have dots by Decker. Uh, why is work stressful? What are your problems? And what nursing home? And who are you? Do you like Hilda? Okay, nothing. We're gonna watch Nursing Home again. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable. Making sure they're not in any pain. Mm -hmm. And I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Okay, so we've got what's coming in meds. Oh, we could actually ask- okay. Where do you work? Yeah, that's already covered. Um... What meds do you give patients? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? I mean, if the only other a option was agonizing pain, yeah. Yeah, I would, frankly. Uh, what? Herbal remedies. I'm a qualified herbalist. It's okay, you can laugh. Most people <laughs> think herbalism is a joke. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Why do you like Valerian. Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? You must see it all the time, doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Do you? She made those up. Those were wizards in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but no, no, she is not the crystal lady, but there is one of those here, if I remember correctly. See if you can guess which one before we get to it. <laughs> um, trained... Herbalist, huh? Okay. Um, what else? What comes after death? That was highlighted. No, sorry, I don't know. Yes, you do. What comes next? No, sorry. Okay. That's what was highlighted! Tell me, Elin! Um... Oh, 
Okay, so we're still missing who are you? What are your problems? Why work stressful? Decker? What meds do you give patients? Why not like meds? Okay, we already kind of covered that. What else does she have to say about I that? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Uh-huh. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Got that. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? We already talked about that, yeah. Yes, I would want to spend it asleep. I wouldn't. There we go. I'd want to see every sunrise and every sunset. I'd want to feel every breath. Everything gets more vivid near death. Yeah, that's one of those weird things. Why things get more vivid near death? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. But yeah, apparently that's actually a thing. Looks like that's what we needed to ask her there. Let's go uh, switch gears and ask about Decker again. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. Okay, yeah. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. How was Decker different? He was a bit offbeat, but... Yeah, I liked him. But then, I like most people. As your brain shuts down, it sets off fireworks. Yeah, pretty much. I was Decker offbeat. Okay. No, we don't have any more questions about Decker. I mean, we could go for green, but I... All right, why work stressful? It can be sad sometimes. Oh, sad. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed Stress. about it or anything. Why work sad? We talked about that already. No. But you don't get stressed. Why not get stressed about work? Okay. Do you get stressed? Because if we... If we go back to what are your problems, she's just like, Oh yeah, work is stressful. And then you ask why work is stressful. And then she kind of just doesn't... Let's go back to who are you. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. Nurse dating God, shows. Like I'm on one of those dating shows. How long have you been a nurse? Talked about that already. Um, and I said, what dating shows? And she's like, I'm not looking for love. Okay. Why not looking for love? Married to job. Um, why married to work? Yes, I love my job. 
I love my patients, even the really crotchety ones, you know? Oh God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? No, it doesn't sound weird. I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Ah! References! Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to respond to that. Um... Why... Patients feel like... Your... Children. I don't have any kids. Maybe I will, one day, I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. Okay. So we're still missing who are you and what are your problems? And why is work stressful? What do your patients say? I don't know. Sorry. Yes, you do! Hmm. It can be sad sometimes. Mm hmm. Work's sad. I don't like losing, don't a like losing patient. That's the, but job. that's the job. Okay. I don't get stressed about it or anything. And she says, I don't get stressed. Why don't get stressed? It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with. I thought we asked that They're already. Nurses. They're mean to me. Why other nurses mean to you? They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Angel of death, huh? They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes, though. Natural causes? Caused by the natural herbal remedies. Because you know what you're doing. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, so we've uh, solved everything except who are you. <laughs> so what if there's an extra pillow near them with a face impression in them? Yeah, right? my associate, Dr. Pillow. <laughs> oh! That reminds me. Silent Hill 2 remake releasing October 7th. Yay! I was just watching somebody play through the original last night. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we will be playing that, and that's part of why we're uh, sneaking into Spooky Month a little bit early, because that's going to take up a lot of our time. Be nice to Dr. Pillow, he gets quite down. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. People rave about his bedside demeanor. He's firm but gentle. Uh... So yeah, we're still missing who are you. I'm just gonna say nurse at her and see what she says. Okay, we've already talked about that. Dating. We've already talked about that. Those were the things that were highlighted under who are you? Why are you here? What are your problems? Okay. 
I did get employee of the month last time, but I think it was a fluff piece. <laughs> Propping him up. Oh. He need to be careful not to ruffle his feathers. can we get from I'm, I'm 25 and i'm a nurse god i sound like i'm on one of those dating so yeah shows. nurse and dating show is all that's uh okay so you're 25 i feel really bad i can't answer your questions um i like animals let's talk about that she likes animals okay what is your favorite animal i love animals especially cats I think everyone is either a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? I am a cat person. Yay, me too. I have a cat called Church. He's adorable. Tell me about Church. I don't know anything about that. Tell about Cat. We're still missing, who are you? We can get a hint. Oh my god, where's my cursor? Oh god. Okay, so yeah. I'm sure it's easier for y'all to see because your screen is a lot brighter than mine, but oh my god. Look how small this thing is. We found 72 out of 203 responses. Oh, we're getting through Act 1 pretty quickly. Overall progress, 10%. Blech. Uh, continue... Got a note that Terry called. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. Why doesn't Terry like you? Terry. Okay, that doesn't lead us anywhere. What know about Decker's death? I don't know. So okay. I Murder. think it's terrible what happened to him. Camera. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. I keep killing her favorite patient. Uh, I mean, uh... <laughs> Okay. Perhaps you should ask someone else a question. Hmm. Are those hints? Okay, those are the hints. Alright. I can't just hit escape to go back. Oh, okay, that was all of it for uh, Elin, I guess. Yeah, somehow that answered, who are you? Okay. I forgot Jaya writes in your notes every so often. Uh, say hello to patients, find out what's wrong with them, see what they know about Decker. My patients seem confused, I probably asked something they have more than one answer to. Yep, got it. Verbal mirroring, yeah, psychological. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah, that's it. 
Say hello to Elin for me. Let her know that Terry called for her. Daya says hi. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Alright, here's one of our waifus. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I am feeling okay. That's what Dr. Decker would say. What do you know about Decker's murder? Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Give me your Cthulhu necklace. I need it. Okay. Why was Decker good list in there? There's more than one question there. Break it down for me. Mariana, that was literally one question. <sighs> Who are you? We already talked about that with hello. Okay. What do you do? I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Go on. I spend time at beach. Why like beach? What do you find at beach? Tell about bracelets. It's early days. The business isn't doing that great, but I really enjoy my job if that helps. You can make a lot of money, or you can have a lot of fun, but you can't usually do both. Yeah, you've been paying your bills with fun, or, uh... How much money do you make? Okay, she's covered that. She's very off. I have an idea. You're in a desert walking along the sand when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. You reach down and flip the tortoise over on its back. Why aren't you helping the tortoise, Elin? <laughs> oh. Did you... Like Decker? Dr. Decker was fine. <laughs> he had good relationships with his patients as far as I know. Get away from the tortoise, Elin! I'm not sure why anyone would want him dead. And there you go. That's for free. Uh, who? Good relationship with Decker. I've been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? No cake. That's okay. I wasn't really expecting one. You stay here. I will go get cake. <laughs> Movie was in the 80s. How old are you? 200? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cake do you like? Um. Marianne, I need you to get the cake. 
What? Do it! <laughs> this is a murder investigation! <laughs> oh no, I fell! <laughs> well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He okay, was he was a good listener. I oh. thought I already tried to ask that. I guess not. Good listener. She's gonna Doctor be like, oh, there we go. could really get inside you. Yeah, I'm sure. It was uh, unsettling. But you let him do it. Part of the process, I guess. Unsettling. <laughs> okay, I have to ask. Okay, that's covered. We've covered it. Okay. So we haven't really gotten much into her. Nothing new. Um, what are your problems? Why aren't you wearing shoes in my office? Like, what? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up for public nudity. Okay, that's a good start. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Okay, we've got a new note here. Let's see. She's got blackouts. Does she remember anything during? Sustain any injuries? Anything during blackout? I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? <laughs> Do you remember anything? By blackout, I mean I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. Okay. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. Uh... Any injuries? No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side, like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. No, 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 we don't need to get Elin involved with Mariana. <laughs> why naked? I never find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. Okay. She's been through a lot. I wonder how all this makes her feel. Why am I only writing down notes for Mariana? How does that make you feel? Like you're not listening. I can go. How do you feel? Okay. <laughs> um, how many times, uh, arrested? I don't have an answer for that. Police! I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> they picked me up five times in the last month. 
That's excessive. Five times. I have no idea about that. Because of the blackouts? Um... Covered in seaweed. No. Yes, you do know about that. Okay, fine. What else can we get from public nudity? I black out. We got blackouts, yes. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Okay, we need like to ask about the beach again. Washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Okay. Wake up on beach. When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is weird, right? I'm not scared. Not yet. I just want to know what's going on. Why well, feel refreshed? That's not really helping with my blackouts. Okay. Why not scared? I don't know. I hate you. Okay. Let's see what's I highlighted again. Out. Okay, blackout. And then the next thing I remember, I get on beach. On Do beach. I just need to ask about blackouts like again? Washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet. Okay. I do suffer from blackouts, which is okay. Strange, yep, that's what I, I needed. Can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Doctor Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. What did Decker work out? He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. Actually useless. Um, what prognosis? I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Have you met Elin? We could ask her about her necklace. We've asked about the ocean, the job. Maybe she should stop going to the beach or have somebody watch her record her. Stop going doing to beach. Going to beach. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? No, I have not been addicted. That's a shame. You need to have a passion for something, Doctor. The difference between addiction and passion. Also, the ocean will kill you. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Okay, I'm sure. What is your necklace? I don't know about that. Okay. Um... Someone should watch you. Will you do it for me? Will you watch me to see what happens? Don't make the camera do that. No, get... Uh, sure. Yes, I will watch you. So... It's a date, then. I'll let you know when.
Win date. Nope. Don't know. <laughs> Oh, it actually keeps that, though. Um... Okay, are we good? We're not. We still need to ask her some more things. Uh, what prognosis? She doesn't... Oh, there. What prognosis and blackouts? Oh, I was on the wrong thing, that's why. How to stop blackouts. Okay, what can we get I from that again? I from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. Stop telling me that. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Mm-hmm. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety. Okay, originally. so yeah, we'll ask about anxiety. We worked it out. Uh, why not anxiety? Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD? That's what I have! Yay! I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? Hang on. Let me get closer. Are not breathing badly. You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that solves the, uh, blackouts, but, um, sure. Check breathing. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. Why holding breath? I hold my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Liar! Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally. Just for a few seconds. I don't know why. Okay. Um... Tell her to lie down. Like a whale, got it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. Causing I mean, blackouts, okay. It could, but I don't remember. What causing blackouts? She's gonna be like, I don't know. I normally black out when oh, I'm dancing. Oh, right, the dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I like dancing. That doesn't mean anything to me. Yes, I like dancing. Cool. Okay. I dance to anything with a beat. <laughs> okay. Why dancing? I have. Oh my god! When are you dancing? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. What about the Pearl? The Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots or Maybe it's just the black lighting. Who knows? Cheap vodka, holding breaths, you don't know why you're having blackouts. Uh-huh! It's a mystery. Do you like vodka? I don't drink. Okay. Um...
Okay, what else? I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Okay, Do yeah. Like normally black out is what's, uh... You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but... I'm tired now. <laughs> is that it for today? Okay, she's good. It happens every time I go dancing, but I don't think that's what it is. I'm sorry, which of us is the doctor here? No, 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 you, you let me know when you figured it out, it's fine. Anywho, here's Nathan. Hi, Nathan. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. in hell, I mean, retail here. Yeah. You've hit a couple of things there. What do you want to talk about first? I already hate you. Where work? I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging, when the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Why not aging? I'm 57. Kidding. Just if you spent the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. Okay. Older you actually. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Yes. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. <laughs> Most of the time, anyway. Yeah, so this guy's problem is that he's Bill Murray and he needs to learn the spirit of Christmas. Um... Why do days repeat? I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. <gasps> to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Nah, you're boned. Yes, I can help. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This this is our first time around, and I trust you. Why do you trust me? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then, either. You just said this is our first time around. Take this groundhog with you, yes. Sorry, I've got nothing. Of course you don't. All right. I think I remember what this guy's deal was, but I don't remember how to get back there. Stop it, Nathan. <laughs> Why do days repeat? You are in purgatory, yes. Um, I guess we should ask, ask him about Decker. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Decker murder. Dr. Decker's murder was sudden. 
brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. What moves you forward? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Uh-huh. Okay, I guess I can't ask him it- well, hmm. Two I weeks? Can't ask. I can't ask- okay. Uh... When did... Repeat start? I don't have anything to say about that. Oh my god, Nathan. You're killing me. Yeah, we'll go back to how old are so you? Montages you get in movies. Uh huh. Montage, Home got passes, it. You wake up, shave if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over. Okay, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Am I in purgatory? Purgatory. Doctor? Uh, nothing changes. Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or. Or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't... doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. Tragic event! I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just... rammed me. Well... Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through her. That was five years ago. Alright, yeah, so, uh... Nathan's got some trauma. <laughs> Babsy's speaking backwards. My fiance, my childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl, I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry. It's Warcraft. We spent a lot of time on there. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. No, Nathan, they to just honest, released a new it expansion. Me a lot of life now, the same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. He's a poser! They don't have necromancers! <gasps> Liar! I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Brood calling him out. Uh. Crash. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. Yeah. All right. Uh, so what, we have 
thing is still on tragic event and Dr. Decker. Um... We just said Hannah. Let's say Hannah... died. We've already talked about that. Um... Ask about the lorry. Okay, well that's part of Crash. <gasps> I just think it's funny that lorry is the word for truck. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What else about Decker? Or actually, let's let's wrap up the uh, tragedy here. I didn't see the driver. It was my right. fault. Right, it was your fault. I pulled out, and then Laurie just rammed me. And we already got Laurie. Well, Hannah. And we already she got Hannah. So nice I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to. Mm hmm. Okay. Why was it your fault? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? All right. So we still need to ask about uh, Decker. Decker started loop. The lorry delivering copies of Groundhog Day to the distribution warehouse. <laughs> it was driven by a giant groundhog. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but... Okay, let's see. Decker complex. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like... He couldn't decide what to do with himself. Decker... Remember. As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. Okay. We've wrapped on Nathan here. Bill Murray driving shotgun on press tour. <laughs> Alright, we are good to go on everybody here. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's see. Let's just say you might... He was like a kid in a sweet shop. Something new. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. Okay. That has now been solved. Okay. See if we had anything else. Why did I click on Bryce? I do not want to keep watching Bryce do his thing. Just scrolling through real quickly. We still have to ask uh, Mariana about her prognosis. Mariana. Let's see. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Uh, warm milk. 
Help sleep. <laughs> Stop waking up on the beach. Um... Stop dancing. If that's what you want, I'll stop clubbing for a while. It's no biggie. Okay. I really wish this would bring up, like, the patient we have in front of us actively instead of just... We're still missing your prognosis here. And that was what we just watched. So watch it again, because I, I don't know. Okay. Stop just the stop blackouts. having the blackouts. Just stop it. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. You suggest anything that might help? I guess that's what I'm supposed to answer. No, I can't suggest anything that will help. No, I don't. I did say HLEP, but the game is actually okay about doing that. <laughs> Um, record yourself. I film myself doing, um, lots of things. Uh-huh. But it's not so easy to do when you're blacked out. Okay, that's what we needed. Set up the camera before you black out, dummy. All right, Pepsi thinks it's lupus. <laughs> all right. We are all good here. We are all, uh, all clear. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna sit here and try to green everybody because... I will tell you that process is like pulling teeth. <laughs> so we're gonna move on. Oh, Doctor. Glad I caught you. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up? Hi, Jaya. I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he'd found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Okay. Tell me about Ben. That was covered by high. What does Ben do? Sorry, didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. What body did Ben find? Do we know? Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. Gross. Valentine's night, huh? Yes. You know, the 14th of February, the day of love, or remembering a massacre, whichever's more you. <laughs> why, is, why are the women not wearing shoes in this game? Come on. Who are you? I can't answer that. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jaya. Alright, 
Dr. Decker was killed on Valentine's Day. Should ask the patients where they were that day. Mm-hmm, got it. Directed by Quentin Tarantino, that's right. Where were you, Valentine's? Um, what was it? 10 past 2, 20 past I'm 10. Not sure ben will be coming in finding for body, a while. yes. He's still pretty shook up about finding the Let body. the camera start I'm there. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. Uh, yeah, what did the police either. say? a cleaner how many bodies do you think he's gonna find what do you think is happening here jaya the police wanted to know what i was doing valentine's night you know when the body was found i was at home all on my lonesome so i guess that makes me a suspect suspect i think the police want you to make a short list of suspects or maybe even find the killer you're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah, like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I got here counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Thanks, Jaya. Hmm, I don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. What do you think about Decker? I wouldn't say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. <laughs> J.S. got jokes. Ah, uh, murder? He was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. Yeah, stabbing, huh? We don't know anybody who does that. Claire's like, no, no, I ain't about that life anymore. Hmm. Okay. What else should we ask her while we've uh, while we've got her here? How long work here? Sorry, I don't have a clue. All right, that's fine. Time's a little messed up right now. Um. Okay, she was alone on Valentine's. Murder. Uh, check her body. We already got that. My office. I don't know what Dr. Decker was doing here, and my services weren't required that evening. He'd often stay late, though, so it wasn't that unusual. Okay. What else can we get from murder? I am gonna try to green this, cause he was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Mm -hmm. now, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. Uh, let's ask about patients. Okay, stabbed. I'd like to help, but I don't know anything about that. I feel like most people would know a little something about stabbing. All right.
Fine, we won't green that then. Moving on. Actually, hang on. One second. Let me go get some water real fast, and then we'll move on to uh, Act 2. Let's move on. I'm having a loot day. All right, Nathan's back. Ah, uh, Nathan, what's up with your loop day? It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Secondary school. Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? <laughs> what causing loops, brother? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. How many fingers am I holding up on my back? Yeah! What about... Jaya? Haven't we talked about that? What? Okay. Where... Secondary school. He did tell me that, though. I think. Oh, no, he didn't. But it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, what do you need to know about Jaya? What do we need to know about Loop? Remember. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Oh my god. What day is today? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Oh, you suck. Where are you on... 
Valentine's Day. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Valentine's night. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking You suck! Okay. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Mm-hmm. Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? Failed to get question right. I'm not sure that's the answer. I hate you! Okay. Didn't remember yesterday. I'm not sure that's the answer. Alright, he is caught in a loop. I'm not sure that's the answer. Why are you here? I'm not sure that's the answer. Decker. I'm not sure that's- Oh my god, okay, hint. Oh, yes it would be funny, no it wouldn't be funny. Ugh. No, it wouldn't be funny. I agree. So that's part of something I take issue with in this game. It's like, was that an actual question or is that just, you know? <laughs> and it turns out, yes, that was an actual question. And now we have to look at uh this. You remember this, the final boss of Earthbound? And yeah, I couldn't ask about Valentine's Day. Anyway, continue. I'm having a loot day. Uh-huh. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. Mm-hmm. What's the name of your assistant again? I suppose you did remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but... I've got a pill. What pill's that? Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loot day. It looks like a Tom's. It's got a small skull and crossbones on it. Should I take the tablet, Doctor? Ah, pirate pills. Do not take tablet. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. I know it's not. No, do not take tablet. You're cool. I don't think this is getting us anywhere, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Again. <laughs> Moving on. I'm having a loop day. Oh, get out, Nathan! Loop day. It's a do-over day. You won't remember it. Uh -huh. What's the name of your assistant again? Well done. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? Where is pill? I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Yes. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Yes, reliving days. Something somewhere has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. Sim theory? It's a thing. Some professor believes we could be living inside a computer simulation and someone is controlling us. And there are millions of these sims. And someone somewhere behind a keyboard is just causing havoc. I'm starting to think you have that keyboard, Doctor. Wait, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Yes, yes, Dr. Wright. I'm familiar with his work. Get back here, Nathan! I'm not done with you! Alright. Midnight each ah, day. Bryce. Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. Twenty minutes past ten. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death when I'm dancing. You get this date over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? Dun dun dun. Ooh. Hey, Jaya. Deja vu. Are you sitting in exactly the same place I left you last night? Oh, that's where it all starts, Doctor. Hmm. Anyway, do you think you can fit me in today? Looking at the diary, it's just the usual suspects, and you must be getting sick of them already. Do not let Nathan in. I've got this for you. Two, it's some more footage from Professor Alderby that was hiding away. Well, come find me if you need anything. I would like breakfast. All right, we've got two new people here. We've got some new footage to look at. We have Lacey. Oh, is she the one in the red dress? See. Red sweater. Okay, we have Lacey, we have Jasmine. Don't remember. I don't remember Jasmine. And there's Bryce. And then there's Claire. We see what everybody's wearing today. Elon's back. Mariana's back. Mariana. And then Nathan. So sick of Nathan. Alright, clues. Let's look at the footage here. Nothing, of course. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? Him, God, the great old one, the elder God, Cthulhu, however you address him. Listen to me, you're not listening. It's your only bloody job. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. God loves chaos. But something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Without chaos, he has less power. When there's too much order, he becomes impotent. So he needs to instill chaos again. And do you know how he does this? No. And yes, but you're being too granular. He needs chaos so he can return, Easy. and the only thing stopping him is you. Not just you. Uh, you and people like you. Psychiatrists, doctors, nurses. Anyone who is caring for people who are losing their sanity. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? 
He doesn't need your version of insanity to spread. He needs chaos. It's not the same. It's just a means to an end. They're not all cultists, unfortunately. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself, to cause further insanity and harm your own. I doubt it. But can I make you question your reality? Definitely. But in doing so, I would be promoting more chaos. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. As by definition, chaos is unpredictable from one moment to the next. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world, no matter how much chaos that would cause. In 10 seconds time, there will be no gravity in this room and we will float. Three, two, one. You think nothing happened. Where's your glass, Doctor? Dun dun dun! Oh, I was supposed to click. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Alright. So we need to ask people about Valentine's Day. Get out of here, Mariana. Alright, Lacey. This is our first time seeing you. Hello. I'm Lacey Hendricks. So you don't know about me then? I don't. Who are you? No, that doesn't- uh, What do you do? I'm not really sure about that. Work! That sounds like something I should know about. But I don't. Why are you here? Sorry, I've not heard anything about that. Lacey, you suck. Already. That is your job. No, I can't really- Decker. I didn't have much luck with him, like I said. He didn't believe me. You didn't say anything! He thought I was having a... a, a hallucination caused by the stress of my neighbour being so brutally murdered. Where is Agnes, though? I haven't found her, have they? Have they? Okay. Hallucinations. Have you been listening to me? Ask me something about my problem. I am! Okay, what is your problem? Other than being entirely unhelpful. Don't know. Get out of my office. Okay, tell me about Agnes. She went missing, and still is. And that's what people think. But it's not the truth. Truth about Agnes. It killed them. It looks normal enough. A smartly dressed, door-to-door -door saleswoman. I know because I heard my other neighbors shout at her. No Jehovah's! They think anyone knocking is a Jehovah. <laughs> But she said she was selling double glazing. Oh god, yeah, the double glazing thing. I don't know, I didn't answer the door. Best not to nowadays. But I watched her go to Agnes's. Poor Agnes. She let her right into her house. Oh, what happened to Agnes? I could only see the silhouette. It turned from a person into a, well, it looked like 
I guess you'd call it a, a Medusa. Snakes for her face. And Agnes just fell to the floor. A few minutes later, the woman left, smiling like the cat that got the cream. That was the end of Agnes. Okay, this woman looks like Anthony Hopkins from, like, here up, and that's really throwing me off right now. <laughs> uh, tell me about the Medusa. I saw it with my own eyes. What more proof do I need? You're starting to sound like Dr. Decker. He didn't believe me either. Why didn't Decker believe you? Okay. Decker, murder. Oh my god. Um. Stop waving at me. Um. The saleswoman. It's just gonna lead me back to the Medusa, isn't it? Double glazing, okay, yeah. Have the Medusa stopped crying, Clarice? <laughs> um, how long seeing Decker? Decker, murder. Valentine's Day. I was at Henley Church. <gasps> they had a service that ran right up till midnight. For us less fortunates without a love in their life. Well, now. Do you have someone, Doctor? Do you have a love in your life? Out of safety, we're going to say no love in life garden club you should come with me one night it's a lovely way to meet new people that sounds awful <laughs> all right so she's got a wedding ring that's not really a question where husband don't know much about him other than the fact that he looks at me like I'm six foot under every time we meet. He doesn't seem too bothered she's gone missing either. He did at first, when the police were crawling around. But now they've gone, that stopped. If I hadn't seen that thing eat her, I'd... You'd what? Same thing, eat Agnes. God, what? Okay, what are we supposed to get out of that? About him. Other than the fact that he looks don't know like much about your husband. Okay. He doesn't seem too bothered she's gone missing either. He did at first, when the police were crawling around. But now they're talking got about Agnes's stuff. husband. If I hadn't seen that thing eat her, I'd. But you have a wedding ring. Oh god, she's dead. Never mind, she's fine. Agnes, husband. Husband, not worried. Put your phone away, you're in therapy! Your husband. Why isn't husband bothered? No. He's a weasley little man who spends far too much time in his garden. It's probably like the National Trust back there. The constant digging and building, pruning and soaring. Husband digging. What a thing to say. Why would you say that? I hate you. I kept watching the front door after that saleswoman had left and nothing. She didn't leave, and you can't get out the back since the council sold the garage block. 
garage. Ron's a gardener, not a killer. Unless. <laughs> Just kidding. Unless. Ron. Tell about Ron. Rude laughs at me because I call her garage the garage every so often. <laughs> Um Let's ask about the church. Keep asking. But I don't know. Ugh. Okay, what else Why can we get about say? the husband? Why would you say that? I kept watching the front door after that saleswoman had left and nothing. She didn't leave, and you can't get out the back since the council sold the garage block. Mm hmm Ron's a gardener, not a killer. Unless... Can I actually just say unless what? I figure she'd just be like, nope, I don't know. Agnes said Ron was laying the foundations for a new greenhouse. You don't think... I don't think what? I need to call the police. I I need to call them now. No signal. But they won't listen to me. I tried to tell them about the monster, but they didn't believe me. They won't believe me about this, I promise you. Please, could you call them, Doctor? Yes, I will call them. Thank you, Doctor. Now give me a pen and I'll write down the details for you. Don't you want to know why Dr. Decker called me the leech lady? Go on. He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there too. I'm not that clever though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not as if I was having an affair with Ron and Agnes was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living anyway? I don't know. You won't tell me. We tried many, many times. Did you call them doctor? That's not their name. <laughs> Uh, affair. I suppose I could tell you, but I don't have all the gossip. Affair with Ron. Okay. Police. Sorry, I've not heard. Not heard anything about that. Okay, well. What else? He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there, too. I'm not that clever, though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not it's as not if giving I was us any an affair with Ron thing and in italics here Agnes yet. was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living, anyway? Can I ask you what you do for a living now? That sounds like something I should know yeah. about. But I don't. School's out in 40, I guess I should get ready. Almost started to get used to the idea of resting. <laughs> it gives you just enough time to start relaxing, and then you gotta go pick him back up. How's Kato doing, by the way? Is he, uh... Is he starting to adjust a little bit, or is he still struggling a little bit? To leeching thoughts? That's not really a question. Okay. I actually don't remember talking to Lacey. During my first playthrough of this, like, at all. Uh... Where 
repeatedly asked this morning, will I be at school today? Yep. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> mm. I suppose I could tell you, but I don't have all the gossip. Don't have all the gossip about the church service we went to. Okay, cool. He was doing a potty dance at the doors before they opened to let them in. Hope that ended well. <laughs> well, you'll find out soon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He said mm. that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. Okay, we've watched this a bunch. And I can put thoughts in there too. Uh, put thoughts in people. Don't know. Don't know. Okay, of course you don't. I didn't have much luck with him. Like I said, he didn't believe me. He thought I was having a... a, a hallucination caused by the stress of my neighbor being so brutally murdered. Where is Agnes, though? I haven't found her, have they? Have they? Have they found Agnes? No, they have not found Agnes. They haven't found her because that okay, thing there we go. ate her. Or made her disappear or something. Her useless husband managed to survive unscathed, though. Useless husband. Husband unscathed? Medusa ate Agnes. Okay, Decker didn't believe you. Ah, uh, jeez. So we still need hello and we still need leech lady. I'm Lacey Hendricks. So you don't know about me then? I guess I need to say that I don't know about you. No, I don't know about you. Where to start? Okay, there we go. My next door neighbor in Jobson Hill, where I live, she was murdered. 80, and they diversion burgled her. But she was wise to it and started calling the police. They slit her throat with a bread knife. <laughs> so I started a neighborhood watch. Okay. Neighborhood watch. It was me and Agnes. Everyone else thought we were overreacting. If they want their throats cut, that's up to them, living in their bubbles. But Agnes. Poor Agnes. Okay, we have a new note here. Should ask about the neighborhood watch. Yeah, okay, got it. Um. Uh, okay, that covers up hello. We still need to go... Leech lady. What else can we get from that? Does she ask a question that I think is just a... Oh, come on. All right, we you have to listen to her sucking out the thoughts, thoughts again. From people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there, too. I'm not that clever, though, am I, Doctor? I mean, 
It's not as if I was having an affair with Ron and... No, you are not that clever. Agnes was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living anyway? Okay. Yes, you are that clever. Have you been listening to me? What about your problem? I'm not really sure about that. I hate you! <laughs> okay, let's get a hint on here, because I don't... You sell double glazing or you're unemployed? Okay, well she starts the neighborhood watch and then yeah, we ask her about a job and she won't say anything. Yeah, we can- we can ask that. Why did you guess that, Doctor? Because I've got time on my hands. Enough time to worry and protect my neighbors with a neighborhood watch scheme. You're wrong. But I'll remember that. Okay, that sent her to green. But also, you're not gonna tell us what you actually do. Okay, yeah. Get out. Jasmine, we're on orange somehow, despite not speaking to her. Hello. Whoop, let me click in the box here. I'm Jasmine. I don't come in that often. What happened to Dr. Decker? He did. Decker. Murdered. Oh. When? How? Sorry, you probably don't know, do you? Why do you look like Blonde Jaya? Also, why are you not more worried about that? Decker stabbed. Ouch. I didn't really know him that well. I'm trying to remember what I was doing on Valentine's Day now. No one mentioned Valentine's Day. <laughs> we had a display in the gallery based on Love Conquers All, so I had to work. Mainly it was a collection of giant hearts sat on things, but I ran into another patient, Bryce. I'd never really spoken with him before, but he's quite an art critic. I couldn't get rid of him until I finished work at 11. There's actually another guy who takes over on the night shift. I'm not sure if he kept talking to Bryce though. Providence is open 24 hours. Yeah, I hate Bryce too. Uh, where do you work? Beats me. Why is everyone like this? <laughs> what do you do during the day? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. Love conquers all. Nope. Are you at least wearing shoes? Okay, tell me more about Bryce. Hmm, there's not much to tell. I knew he was a patient here. I'd seen him in the waiting room a couple of times. He likes art, and talking, and talking, and looking down here instead of up here. Yeah, I could see that. Ask about art. That's not something I know about. Okay. So she was already... Like, she's already good to go. I don't know how much else we're going to get out of her. 
So I kind of just want to move on. She is wearing shoes. Okay. <laughs> Ask Bryce about Jasmine. I have no idea what you want me to say. Okay, tell me about Valentine's Day. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. Okay. Um... God. Do you like art? No. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, give me a hint. Can you see something behind me? Oh, okay, let's do that. Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. Okay, that's creepy. How are you? There's something I want to tell you about. Something else that's wrong with me. Is it the ghost thing? I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. Oh, Lord. Out of control, you say? When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? I don't think you want the answer to that. Uh, maybe I should suggest things he might have done to gain his trust. I wonder if he's stolen anything or spied on anyone or helped anyone. I would steal things. Yes, I would steal too. And I have stolen. I ran out of milk, so I thought I'd go to the local all-night shop and get some more. I was absolutely intending to pay, but when I got there, everyone was frozen. I thought about leaving money on the counter, but that seemed weird. The cashier would wake and suddenly this money would have appeared from nowhere. But I've stolen bigger things. What have you stolen? Okay, you just don't want to talk to that. Uh, I would buy on people well that makes me feel a little better there's a young mother divorced who lives opposite me jessica she's friendly and says hello to me smiles bryce is a creep that's why i hate him i always wondered what she looks like <laughs> naked so one hour i broke into her house she was standing in her bedroom i took it as a sign i took off her clothes and... What did you do to Jessica? I took photos of Jessica when she was naked. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Yes, it is wrong. Show me the pictures. I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. Don't think he made you a pervert. Show me the pictures. I don't really know about that. Yes, you do! Uh, why Decker's fault? Like I said, 
I originally presented with depression, and everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. All right, how do you change? That's too much to think about at once. Try How did Decker change? There's one too many questions here. Literally one question, Bryce. What made Decker change? That's too much to think about. Ah! Oh! Okay, what? Like I said, I really was going well for a while, got it. And everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. Do I just need to say changed how? He was easily distracted during the sessions. Like, he wasn't listening. I feel listening. like that's too vague, but okay. I'm sure he wasn't listening half the time. I don't think he wanted to know about his patients anymore. But when he did give you advice. What advice? He told me to use my imagination to make something up, to think something crazy, and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. So I did. But he pushed me. He made me think it. Imagination. Thinking I had an extra hour at the end of each day did become real for me, Doctor. Maybe Decker was a genie, and he could grant wishes. Maybe he wished himself dead. I don't know. Wishes? Not something I know about. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Uh, okay, what else can we suggest? Uh, I would help people. I did think what good could I do other than catch up with work. I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. So I gave her purse back. And the crook. I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me, so... I took another picture. You at least leave her clothes on, Bryce. Hmm. All right, so we still need to ask about him being out of control. Let's see what else we when can I get. Got the hour. I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? Fairground! Ha! <laughs> that was just an example, Doctor. I'm sure you can come up with more exciting things to do than that. Okay. Yeah, fairground was the thing that I had to actually ask. Okay. We still need more out of Bryce. Um... Alright, something we haven't asked. We asked him about Valentine's Day, we asked him about Jessica. Keep asking him how did Decker change, and he's like, that's too many questions! I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Why do you think that is? No body in coffin. No, the coffin wasn't empty. 
There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. Where Decker body? It doesn't really, uh, you know, explain how he changed, but sure. Um, decoy. I'm guessing he was buried somewhere else, or cremated. Somebody somewhere didn't want his body going in the ground. Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? I want to be cremated. That's a good choice, Doctor. <laughs> Less work for me. Then maybe I won't be cold anymore. All right. So that's all we've got from Bryce. Let me save right here, and... I was gonna take tomorrow off, but... Maybe we play some more of this tomorrow. If I can get to the menu here. I don't know how often it saves. Quit? Oh, okay, it just quits. I sure hope all of that saved. Alright. There's my desktop, by the way. Love that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna head out for today. So, thanks for hanging out, y'all. And, uh, yeah, we'll do some more of that. That'll be fun. Making sure I have nothing incriminating on my, uh... Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Alright. I'm going to take off. We will resume our investigation tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Alright, take care. See you later. Bye!